Picking a walk in the little park near your place this morning, you know the one. Once you leave the elevator, just keep going straight past the fountain. I'll be sitting down for a coffee near the gazebo. Come around if you want to join me. I'll be here for another hour or two. Uh, I absolutely want to. Just in case I screw up the company thing, I might be able to actually figure out what's, uh, what the data is about. Morning, Chief. Morning, Conrad. It's Campbell now. Right. You wanted to talk to me? I need you to give me your word that you won't tell anyone about our meeting today. Okay, you have my word. You're an excellent investigator, Conrad. You found out that the sniper shot at Banny from the Sakura Hotel. You have a sharp mind. You identify the bartender at the hotel as the one who helped Diaz escape. You found the sniper's boat in the harbor. That helped us track him down and retrace his escape. We figured out what Banny's murderer looked like. Thanks to that, we were able to catch him and his associate on Joris, Joris Plaza. And you determined who had started the Liberator's video at Adspot. That's why we could go after Moore and Cox so quickly. Do you know what makes you so good at your job? You question just about anything. In all my years at the CDI, I've never met a bigger skeptic than you. But that can also make your life harder if you want to climb the ranks at the CDI. However, if that doesn't concern you, you might want to have a closer look at the Sector 2 incident. I don't know exactly what it is they're trying to hide, but the data they're so desperately protecting has something to do with it. Who? Who is hiding something? The AG for sure, maybe just her. I think something happened back when she was director of the CDI. She's been acting strange. The sudden decision to arrest Cox when she heard his name was the last straw. One more thing, Conrad. There was a security alert in the database. Some unauthorized connection from your cell. Whatever it, wa whatever it was you were trying to do, I took the liberty of dismissing the alert. There's no more record of it. I have to go now. This will be the first evening without work I had in a while. Thank you for meeting me. All right. Well, I mean, I, of all the options, I kind of assumed it was that because they're really just, what was that noise? There wasn't uh, really any info on any of the other stuff, events, so. Or I'm just, you know, swallowing a big old bottle of copium, but we'll see. Hello? This is Evelyn Moore. Did you find my husband? I, uh... What is it? Did something happen to him? He didn't turn up. So I was right, wasn't I? He's not working with the Liberators, after all. We're looking into it. What's that supposed to mean? Did you find him at Corian Hotel or not? Now is not a good time, okay? You promised to protect James if something happens to him. Please, our son needs a father. Let's talk about it later. Hey, about that CEO you said was behind the Liberators. We brought him in, but at least at first glance, he doesn't look like we got the right... It doesn't look like we got the right guy. Ah, crap. I mean, of course he's going to say he didn't do it. But so far, we couldn't establish any connection to Cox or Gonzalez or Banny. It would be kind of embarrassing if he turned out to be innocent. Yeah. And we don't have any clue when and where that second attack is going down, either. I'm starting to get nervous. I have a meeting with the press in a few minutes. We'll go over everything later. Roger that. I was supposed to write a report on my findings in the Liberator's case, but I wasn't able to concentrate for even a second. 
First, I needed to wait for my colleagues to go home to be alone with Saito. He always worked late. But then what? What if he refused to help me? The idea of having to force him was devastating. He was my friend, after all. When I finally managed not to think about it anymore, a much more dire thought crept up on me. Laura might die tonight. And if she did, it would be my fault. Really laying it on thick. Well, I screwed one up. Hopefully I don't screw this one up. Alright, here we go. Hey, Saito. Neil, hey. You're working late. Listen, there's something I need to talk to you about. Of course, what's the matter? Saito, I... I'm sorry. Sorry? For what? Is everything alright? No, it's not. My daughter... Laura was abducted, and the people who took her want something from me. I need your help to get it for them. What? Laura was abducted? When? By whom? By a group of mercenaries. Shit, I'm so sorry, Neil. What's the CDI's plan of action? The CDI? What do you think those people would do if I told the CDI about it? Wait, you didn't tell anyone else at the CDI? No. Look, we don't have much time. The mercenaries want me to help them get the data back that they stole from the chief. They managed to create a backdoor to the CDI network. They can briefly alter the access rights to the folder they want from the CDI database. But they won't be able to retrieve it. That can only be done from a local computer. That's where you come in. You're a sysadmin, right? You have to grant their request for access to a specific folder you are not usually able to see. They'll pull all the data from that folder to your local drive. Put it on a stick and give it to me. They made it clear it was not to be sent over the web. Okay, listen, I... holy fuck. I'll bring them the data and then I'll get Laura back. Neil, you realize that you can't trust these people, right? Why are you so convinced that they'll hold their end of the bargain? If you want to save Laura, you have to ask the higher-ups at the CDI for help. I don't know enough about those people. No chance the CDI would be able to track them down in time. The hack will go down in five minutes. If I don't hand them the data tonight, they might kill her. I have an idea. Once I open the folder thereafter, I might be able to locate the source of the back door. We'll explain to the others what's going on, and we'll raid the location before the handover is scheduled. You'll have Laura back before they find out that we never went through with the hack. If we do it that way, do we still get to retrieve the data in the folder? We won't need to, uh, we won't need it. But if you can't trace them and don't get the data, we have nothing. Fine, I'll accept the data transfer either way. I'll delete it if I am able to trace the hack. Yeah. I trust him. Okay, you're right. Let's tell the CDI. Okay. Okay, good. I'm glad you agree. I'll find out where their location is, and then we call Gary. What is the data anyway? Why do they want it? I'm not sure. I don't have time to explain. She's calling. Hey, Neil. I got your sheet. Already on your end? Yeah, we're ready. Good. We're searching that folder now. I'll tell you when you have access. Uh... Alright, there we are. You're good to go. Okay, I think Saito's retrieving the data. I got it. Good work. I'll see you at the handover. God damn, Neil. I got their location. Let's call Gary and the others. Thank you, Saito. Thank you so much. I'm calling Gary and the others. We have to prepare the raid, and we have to do it quick. Hold on. One last thing. What is it? There's no time to lose. Did you pull the data? I... What does it matter? Give it to me. Why? I have the location, Neil. We can go arrest them. You don't need it anymore. I did what you said, okay? I didn't go through with it. Please trust me, it's not a trick. I won't give the data to them. I just need to see what's on there. Please. Here, please don't do anything stupid. Thank you. Don't tell anyone, okay? Let's call Gary and the others. Oh, man. Let's see. I think I got their HQ. It's inside an industrial zone on the fringes of the city. The company registered there calls itself Rattlesnake Farming. 
It appears to be some sort of greenhouse. I assume it's just a front? Maybe for money, money laundering. I still can't believe you didn't tell us earlier. Oh, shut up. What the hell were you thinking, Conrad? And how much information did you feed them about the CDI and about our ongoing investigation? Those people are criminals of the worst kind. Have you forgotten your oath? You'll face serious charges for this, Conrad. Could you please leave him alone, Gary? He's got enough on his plate right now. Well, maybe he would be in a better position if he had told the CDI earlier. Or they would have shot Laura right away if they had caught wind of it. We all had training in hostage negotiations, and I'm sure Neil followed it as best he could. I really don't care about that right now. Can we please focus on getting Laura out of there? I agree. We don't have time to waste. We should be at their HQ within the next hour. That's not a lot of time. Let's go and gear up then. Actually, I don't think it's a good idea for you to be there, Neil. You're not trained in extractions like this, and I don't care if I get hurt. And more importantly, you are too close to the case. The risk that you do something irrational and endanger the whole operation is too high. I can't just stay here and wait. My daughter is in there. That's exactly the kind of attitude I'm worried about. I've been in contact with these people multiple times. They know me. Maybe I can convince them to cooperate. Listen, Neil. There's no more time for discussion. Conrad, call Roy. Get yourselves armor and a gun. I have to call Kumar. Your call. Copy that. Don't leave without me. I'll come with you. You will? Okay, we leave in 30. Am I going to do something stupid? I feel like I'm going to do something stupid. I inserted the stick into my cell and opened up the folder. My heart was pounding. For a moment, it looked like the data wouldn't load, but then the files started appearing on the screen. Dozens, maybe hundreds of documents, messages, pictures, and videos. They were decades old. Most of them dated 1799 or 1800. Their confidentiality level was one I'd never seen before. This was the type of data the Garion network would instantly pick up and trace, both to its receiver and back to its sender. It made sense to physically hand deliver it if one wished to remain anonymous. I didn't know where to begin, so I opened up the very first file in the list, the oldest one, with shaking hands. It was a document sent from someone at the Department of Commerce to the director of the CDI at the time, Emilia Thorne, now Attorney General in charge of the Justice Department. My eyes widened as I skimmed over the paragraphs. When I was done reading the letter, I checked the time. Twenty more minutes. I sat down and opened up the second one, then the third. As the conversation went on, a plan was hatched between a handful of politicians, special interest groups from the private sector, and high-ranking members of the CDI. I didn't recognize most of the names. Some might have been pseudonyms. I stopped looking at the files halfway through and let my head sink onto the backrest. Even though they had used very careful language at first, the goal and purpose of the operation were abundantly clear. The failure of Sector 2 hadn't been an accident. Garians had plotted and engineered it to gain sole access to Drovia's resources, and given its strategic importance at the time, ultimately retained supremacy over the solar system. My head was spinning while I tried to figure out what all of it meant for the present and for me. I had long doubted the integrity of the CDI. Was it still rotten to the core, or had things changed? I didn't know about any ongoing operations that were breaching interplanetary law, but then most agents at the time of the Sector 2 incident hadn't known either, and some of the things I did know about, I didn't want to think about them too much. Now what? On the one hand, the public had a right to know. The culprits had to be found and brought to justice. Reparations had to be paid to the affected families and businesses. On the other hand, if the truth came out, the liberators would win. Savient extremists might be emboldened enough to take control of the colony and declare independence. If that happened, Gara would send its ships, 
and new Joran might send theirs to back up their Saviant brethren, and to finally gain access to the planet's Telenium, of course, if their side won. Hundreds might die, thousands even. Time was running out. I tapped the contact of a journalist I had met a while back. I still hadn't made a decision when I heard the dial tone. The data would probably go through if I decided to send it, but there was no way in hell it wouldn't be traced back to me. My heart was pounding so loudly in my ears that I almost didn't hear the voice on the other end. This is Adrian Boley with the Garian Gazette. How can I help you? Hello? Are you there? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm hanging up now. Oh, man. Yeah. I have information for you. What is this? Who is this? I can't tell you. I'm sending you a data package now. It's flagged and will be quickly picked up and traced by authorities. Your computer might be bricked. Back it up to an external drive as quickly as you can. Are you serious? Please confirm that you understand what I just said. I understand. Good. The public needs to know this. Promise me that it won't get buried. Well, I have to look at it first. Please. I may not have a second chance to send it out. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Okay. It's in your hands now. Conrad? <laughs> oh, I screwed up. Gary, uh, it's time. Let's go. Okay. Coming. Hey, as long as it doesn't get my daughter killed, I really don't care. <laughs> Screw him. Means it was probably Dyson. Alright, agents. I just got the report from Nelson. The big greenhouse in front of us seems to be empty. However, the IR cameras picked up 12 targets in an underground facility hidden underneath. The scan for traps and explosives came back negative. Be careful regardless. We're going in on my command. Watch your backs and keep a low profile. These guys are dangerous and most likely armed. Use of deadly force is authorized. Getting the hostage out alive and well is our number one priority. You all know what she looks like. Miller, Johnson, you open up the front door. Once we're inside, we're looking for another door in the back. Watch out for hostiles from that point on. Okay, let's go. Move, move, move. Gary, I appreciate you backing me up earlier. Thank you. After what you did, it's only right you'd help us fix it now. Oh, screw you. Let's go get your girl. I go. <laughs> CDI, drop your weapons. Drop them now. Shit, that was loud. The rest of them will be waiting for us. May's been shot. Gordon Flynn provide first aid and see if he can get her out of the medic out to the medics. Fuck. Ito, lock the room down, keep an eye on those assholes, get their guns, and make sure they stay down. Someone comes to that door over there, you shoot. The rest of you keep moving. We can't give them any more time to prepare or get out. Follow me. Where where'd I go? <laughs> oh, okay. In the 
final corridor, we passed by a large surgery room. I didn't think about it at the time, but that must have been where they had given Zora her new face and implanted Boyt's fake ID. The only thing I could think about was whether they'd moved Laura or done something to her the moment they'd heard us coming. Drop those guns or we'll shoot. Who are you? What is this? CDI, put your weapons on the ground now. Dad? Stay put, Laura. It's going to be all right. Give us a minute to talk, talk it over, okay? Oh, I see. It's about the girl. How about this? We hand her over to you and you never show your faces here again. Sound fair? I don't think you understand. This facility is surrounded. It's over. Your only option is to cooperate right now. All right, we'll cooperate. But we'll kill the girl first. No. No? Then it sounds like you're getting everything you want. That's not how negotiations work. Shooting a child will do nothing but worsen your prospects on trial. Come on, we both know I'm fucked regardless. We'll take you out if you make a wrong move. It doesn't have to be that way. So what you're saying is our only chance is to fight. I'm sorry, Williams. Nice. What the fuck, Zora? Stop. Final warning. Well, I guess all those uh, discussions with her helped. I am so screwed. <laughs> Dad. It's over now, Laura. You're safe, alright? Alright. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? No, I'm not hurt. Get her out of here. Go. Let's go, Laura. Thank you. As far as I'm concerned, I beat the game. And that's it. The most tumultuous days of my life, and possibly in Garian history. We never did find out who was behind the Liberators. I had gotten so close, but ultimately, we weren't able to present enough evidence to convict anyone. There was something we must have missed. Luckily, the Liberators never launched another attack or made another statement. They just vanished into thin air. One thing is for certain. Given the contents of the data the Liberators were after, they had to be a false flag operation aimed at escalating the situation between Gara and Drovia for whatever reason. A Garian extremist group hell-bent on exposing Gara's past crimes just doesn't make sense to me. And in fact, once the proof was out there, they vanished without a trace, like their only purpose had been fulfilled. Yeah, must have been Dyson. The data I leaked sent a shockwave through the solar system. The source of the leak was quickly discovered, and the CDI not only fired me on the spot, but also tried to scrub me from their records and made all sorts of claims to discredit me. The Garian state scrambled to spin the narrative on the Sector 2 incident, but the data was authentic and unambiguous. Forty years ago, the Savient colony on Drovia had been sabotaged in a secret operation initiated by a handful of Gyara's top politicians, economic elites, and the CDI under the leadership of Amelia Thorne, now Attorney General and leader of the Gyarian Department of Justice. It became clear to me why she had tried to hide the data, fired the chief when he got too close, and ordered the arrest of Cox when she realized who he was. She is currently awaiting trial, along with a number of mostly retired politicians who were implicated in the conspiracy. Mm -hmm. 
Lara is free again and seems to be doing okay, but I wonder every day about the scars this experience has left behind. Even though I know I'm not directly to blame, I will never forgive myself for inadvertently dragging her into all this. As for me, I am free again, as free as I was before, but my life is forever changed. Catherine and I are dating again, however crazy that sounds. Things are so different now. The world is so different that maybe something good can come of it again. And finally, Zora. Easily the strangest person I've met in my life. Despite the terrible things she did, I'm grateful for her help when it really counted. It took the CDI a while to find out anything about her previous life. Turns out her name used to be Elizabeth Davis. She and her friend Boyt had been picked up by the mercenaries as teenagers on the run. Both of them came from affluent Garian families, and both had been reported missing, presumed dead. Zora will be brought before a judge this week, and I'll be there to make a statement. It might sound strange, but I hope she'll walk free again one day. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is see if there's a way for me to resubmit those, um, those sheets and see if maybe it was, uh, Dyson. So I'm going to see if that's possible and, uh, hopefully you'll see a different ending in just a second. All right. Well, when I hit play, it just went back to that ending sequence, uh, where he started talking. So it looks like if I want to do something different, I'd have to play through the game again. And, uh, I enjoyed myself. Don't really feel like doing that though. So um, I, I'm sure you can look it up or something. I, I don't know. I'll, that's probably what I'll do. <laughs> uh, there's a, there's a game that I really want to get into next. Uh, so, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll be excited when, when you see it. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it was, it was a fun game. Just not enough that I'm interested in going through and trying to get all the different endings. But hopefully you enjoyed and... I'll see you in the next one. All right. Take care.